Hi you guys, I am back today with a brand that I have not had a chance to share with you guys on my channel and I am super excited to talk about. So let me just up front let you guys know that some of this I bought myself and it was before I ever had a conversation with the brand and then some of it was actually sent to me in PR which is shocking. Sorry, my cat just started scratching the back side of my chair and it super freaked me out, but it's also pretty adorable. But the brand that I'm talking about today is Black Moxie Cosmetics and this is the Potion Palette. Now, I immediately, as soon as I saw this palette, really, really wanted to pick it up and I don't know why I waited so long to do so. It was only $28.99. I actually think that they are done making this, which is really sad. So maybe if enough people are really interested, they'll consider keeping it. I personally think it's really really good and so beyond worth the money so when you open it up this is what it looks like now I actually had this shade down here come broken but I don't think that had anything to do with the packaging or anything like that my mail I think everybody's mail but but especially my mail lady tends to just jam everything in the box she doesn't really care what's there she just doesn't want to have to walk up to my porch which I can respect the hustle I wouldn't want to necessarily do that either but at the same time Respect packages, bro. In any case, this is what the inside looks like, and it is literally just the perfect fall fantasy, in my opinion. And not just fall, but I do think it also kind of transcends into winter, and so for me, I really was extremely interested in this, like, immediately. So, as you can tell, there's definitely some duochromatic and multi-chrome type of shades. The textures in here are really interesting. I love them, and the mattes are extremely easy to use. With that being said, I'm definitely going to swatch that for you guys, but I do have a few other things I'm going to share with you. Uh, this this is a gloss from them. This is nothing but nude and it was only $5. It's what I've got on my lips right now and that's literally what I have on my lips and I love it. The texture is really thin. It's not sticky and honestly there's no smell but I'm okay with that. It's really comfortable. Like it's super super comfortable. This would look great over everything or nothing in my opinion so you could roll with it either way. And then lastly I did get this single shade. This is called Sour Apple and I went ahead and swatched it with the other ones that we're going to talk about here in a second. This I also purchased when I bought the other two things that I just talked about. Those were not sent to me for my opinion but I but of course I'm going to give it to you anyways and this is just a gorgeous shifty amazing green to kind of red and gold and just a, a lot of different things. We'll talk about that in a second. But what they did send me and what I would have to say is the star of the show is the Forbidden Forest collection. Now I don't know why I did not put this into a palette like that actually doesn't make much sense but I have them as singles right here so I'm going to hold them up and show you guys. The very first shade is Blair Swamp and I've actually got it swatched here and I will live swatch it for you guys as well because yes it's nice to see it on a hand but it's I feel a lot more convenient to see it on an arm as well. Maybe I'm weird I don't know. Do you guys prefer hand swatches? Let me know in the comments I'd be really curious to hear. But right here, this one is Blair Swamp, and it's like a green to gold that even goes a little bit blue. It is, oh girl, it is stunning. And just for comparison, since I had it, I went ahead and put Sour Apple on the bottom, just so you can see that them in the right light, they look like they're the exact same, but they're absolutely not. Like, this has a very strong burgundy shift. It also does have a bit of, I would say, gold and blue, and maybe even a little bit of purple. I don't know if you guys are catching that or not. But I did take some pictures of this. I think that will be helpful to seeing that for you guys. The next shade up is New Moon Woodland. And that's a very strong purple to blue with even, I would say, a magenta as well. Just, just a hint of magenta. It is, whoo, these are just so shifty. I, I was very shocked to see just how impactful they were without a lot of motion. Like, usually you have to move a lot to be able to see something. And, and that's fine. I don't mind that I have a lot of formulas like that that I enjoy. But these, these are very, very good. So that's the one right in the middle. And then the one right here is called Enchanted Lake Woods, which honestly, you guys, these names kind of remind me of Bath & Body Works fragrances. I'm totally getting Bath & Body Works vibes. Maybe I'm alone, and that's okay, but I swear, this is like, that's what it made me think of. But right here is that shade, and it's like a maroon, magenta to gold, and orange. Whoo! Hopefully you guys are seeing all of that. It's... It's insane. It's very beautiful, but probably my, I don't know if it's my favorite or my second favorite because of course I love greens, but this also has green in it too, is the Pixie Dust Grove, and that's the one right at the top. Actually, I didn't even hold it up. That's terrible. This one right here, and I feel like even in the pan, you're not seeing it as much as you're seeing it like even swatched out, and it goes a very strong green, almost blue, to gold and maroon and uh, like an orange bronze shade. Okay, so if you guys like Pat McGrath, for instance, this is very much like a sextraterrestrial rose palette. That's the second one. I can't think of the name of it right now. <laughs> There's so many rose palettes, I can't keep them straight. But it is the Mothership, the full size, the second one that she put out. This is that same shade, I swear. Like, it's the exact same. 
Actually, you know what? The texture is very, very similar. So that's what I would like in these two. Like, I find that this is kind of the happy medium of texture. So this isn't like so dry that you go, oh my gosh, you have to, you have to use a glitter glue with it to make it work. And it's not so wet that you're going, oh my gosh, this is just kind of, like, just kind of crumbling up a little bit. This is perfect. This is a very happy medium. In fact, I've got it on my lid right now, and I'm not wearing any primer, like not even any eye primer at all. I found it extremely easy to actually stick to the lid area without making a mess, and I didn't have any fallout from these, which is pretty impressive. So without a primer, without fallout, I'm, I'm in a good place right now. But I pretty much, I don't know if you can see it. I feel like when I'm facing you head on, you don't see it as much. When you guys see me actually applying it, and even now you can see it a little bit better, you can see that it is very strong. And in fact, like in person, I can see it very easily. But for some reason on camera, I don't know why. I feel like shifts are never picked up as true as they actually are. Um, so just so you guys know, these actually release on October 30th at 12 Eastern. So if you're interested in picking them up, I definitely think you should if you're able to. Also, so you guys are aware, they're going to have 26 millimeter pans, which is like the standard pan, and then 36, which is like give me glow, clarity, that kind of size. And if you get this size, they're 11.50, and if you get the bigger size, they're 12.75, or you can get the whole bundle for $40, which in my opinion, honestly, if I were going to do anything, I would get the bundle. I mean, that makes them $10 a piece, and that's a really fair price for what you're getting here. Future me, so I totally forgot to let you guys know a few things that I thought were really important to know about this brand. So, it's actually handcrafted, it is vegan, it is cruelty-free, and it is black-owned and woman-owned, which I think is pretty darn cool. So, I just thought I'd let you guys know because I think knowing those things kind of helps me make decisions when I'm purchasing things. Not that I won't buy things that are handcrafted. I actually really enjoy a lot of brands that are, but there is something to be said for the love that goes behind something that is. So, I just wanted to come back and let you guys know because I thought that was important information for you guys to have. <laughs> so honestly you guys and not just because they sent me this because to me it wouldn't matter if they did or they didn't and then they decide never to send me anything again these are some of the better ones that I've tried and in fact the texture oh this is another one the texture reminds me a lot of Terra Moon's cosmetics so if you like those or even a little bit of Davina it's somewhere between the Pat McGrath VR Sex Terrestrial Terra Moon's and Davina so it's on the drier side but it's also a little bit more emollient than say um what's a really dry one it's slightly more emollient in my opinion than Cleona so even if you've never heard of any of those brands, that's completely okay. Let me just say that the level of usage for these is very easy. So if you're a beginner to multi-chromes, I don't think you're going to have a hard time with these. Like I said, you do not need a primer. It probably will intensify what you've got going on, in my opinion. So if that's something you want to do, you certainly can, but you do not have to. And I find that to be kind of a kicker. In any case, I'm going to go and swatch all of these on my arm, and then I'm going to do this eye look. I may try to get in another, but it's just going to depend how I feel, because honestly, I've been feeling a little like, eh, not great. And then I'll come back at the very end for my final thoughts. All right, you guys, now these do not have names, so I'm gonna just go top to bottom, left to right, with the very first shade being this one. And that's a really nice matte black shade. Great, this is the second shade in the palette. And that is stunning. So that is like a gray base, greenish, tealish blue shade. Ooh, and it has a slight bit of a purple turn to it as well. It is gorgeous. See? Oh, that's a stunning color. Holy crap. I don't have enough words. So this is like a black based bronzy gold. It is so beautiful. The last shade in the top row. Now this is a gorgeous kind of like grass green shade, slightly brighter than grass green. My thoughts is uh, if you plan to swatch this, be extremely careful with the matte shades because they break apart really easily with your finger. So if you're going to swatch them, I would just be extraordinarily careful. It's not like the whole thing is broken or anything, but the top layer definitely gets a little broken up when you use your finger. So just be careful. First shade of the second row. Oh, okay. So sh this actually got a little bit of the color that had broken into it. So that's what the, the pinkish color is. Let's try and ignore it. I'm going to try and swatch over it. And that's kind of an olivey old gold shade. And that is a gorgeous kind of red-based 
bluish purple shade. Oh my gosh, it is stunning. This is the next shade. The rusty brown shade. This is the last shade in that row. a gray based blue shade and there are some like pinky purple glitter pieces in it it is very pretty this is the first shade of the last row that is pretty it is like a way way deeper version so like maybe a, a black based version of this in my opinion it's still got that kind of greenish blue kind of turn to it it is stunning burgundy shade that has a little bit of gray to it. Okay, so let's talk about this one. This is so, oh my gosh, it is very similar to this, except for this has got like kind of a flaky layer that goes over it that gives it a lot of texture but the base is still that kind of reddish rune and the particles on top are like a blue to purple just very brilliant so keep in mind that I don't have a glitter glue or any kind of base on my arm when I swatch these so I just have to be a little bit careful with shades like this where they are a little bit flakier if you feel more comfortable with the glitter glue it could probably help adhere it but I don't think you'll have a problem and the very last shade in the palette Ooh. That is a gorgeous like hot raspberry shade. It's like a hot pink with a tinge of red to it. And that is the whole potion palette. All right, and this is what the palette looks like in low light. So now I'm going to swatch the Forbidden Forest collection, starting with the shade Pixie Dust Grove. Camera, you guys are seeing a mostly pinkish, goldish orange shade. On the side, I'm seeing a very greenish gold orange. It's really a beautiful and unique shade. Blair Swamp. And that's a beautiful kind of gray based green to gold shade. It might even have a small bit of bluish teal. And maybe a little hint of purple as well. It is beautiful. It is called New Moon Woodland. And you guys are seeing a very strong blue to purple. And I'm seeing a very strong purple and magenta. It is such a gorgeous shade. It's called Enchanted Lake Woods. Strong purple shade. I'm seeing a purple and a like a maroonish pink and orange. Like and bronze. Oh my goodness gracious. This shade is stunning. Done me. Whole Forbidden Forest collection. I feel like you can see the best shift back here. Hopefully that's coming up on the camera as well. And that's in more normal light rather than like bright, bright light. What it looks like in low light.
All right, you guys, I'm back. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on everything. So first things first, I'm going to talk about the items that I purchased myself or PR was ever sent to me. And that would be starting with the potion palette. And oh my goodness gracious. So the packaging is really interesting. I didn't really talk about this much in the beginning, but I find it to be kind of artistic. Of course, it's got green, so that makes me instantly like it a little bit more. When you open it up, this is what the inside looks like. To me, I find this color story to be really inspiring. I love it. I think it is beautiful. The textures in here are really good. The mattes are very blendable and easy to work with. The metallics are kind of that dryer formula, but very impactful. And you do not need a glitter glue. Now you can use one to intensify your look or to put it exactly where you want it, but you do not have to have it. So I definitely think that this is worth checking out. I love the texture of this one right here. It's specifically a little chunkier, which is just beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. I really think, I actually hope that she'll consider re-releasing this at another time. This was only $28.99. So if she does, or maybe even has enough interest, maybe she'll consider it. I, I, I mean, I haven't talked to her about this or anything like that. This is just my opinion after using it. I really, really like it. The next thing I got to try was her lip gloss, and this is called Nothing But Nude. The packaging is really basic. There's nothing wrong with it. For five bucks, I'm not upset about the packaging. And I'm really like it. I feel like it's a perfect neutral type of shade. You could definitely throw it over a lipstick or anything else. I, I feel that way about every gloss, so I can throw it over anything. I'll be fine with it. Although some things change it in the wrong way, but this I feel will look good over any kind of lipstick that you might want to wear it with. The texture is very thin, but it is not sticky, like not sticky at all. Like perfect. There is no smell, so if you have a hard time with fragrance, that will make you happy as well. The thing I got was a single shade called Sour Apple. I want to say this is normally like 10 or $11, and it is just, oh my goodness gracious. I love it. I think it is beautiful. Again, it is the shade that I have here on the bottom. My cat just nearly dropped everything out of that window. <sighs> she's not a little girl, I'm just going to say that. She's a big girl, and she's a baby, but uh, she's the kind of the destroyer of this house. In any case, moving on to the Forbidden Forest collection, this was sent to me in PR, but I will never not give you a real honest review, but let me just tell you, this was just so good, I have nothing bad to say. When everything shipped, it shipped well. My mail lady is just not the best in the world, so I feel, and not feel, I saw it in the mailbox, she jammed it into my mailbox, and she probably shouldn't have, so that's why I had one shade in my palette that came a little damaged, but it was easy to repress, so I'm, you know, no hardship there. But these single shades all came in perfect condition, and they came really quickly, so I was really excited about that. As far, I wish I would have put these into a palette, now I'm just picking them up all strangely. As far as the colors go, I think that these are gorgeous, like, I'm just gonna show you what's on my hand right here. I, ooh. These, for very little motion, have a lot of movement, if that makes any sense. I really feel like they did a good job finding good pigments that have a lot of impact. Just to let you guys know, these will be launching on October 30th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to purchase these, this size right here, which is the 26 millimeter pan, is $11.50, and then the 36, which is like either like a, like a blush, or if you have tried Give Me Glow or Clarity, it's kind of like that bigger pan size. And you get those for $12.75, or you can get the bundle of four, and I'm assuming in this size right here, for $40. If I were going to do it, if you are interested in all the colors and you are able to pick them up, I would probably do the bundle. That's just my opinion there. However, if there's just one color that really speaks to you, that you know, by all means, just pick that one up. I completely get not trying to get things that you're just not going to use, but as far as quality goes, especially compared to price, they did a great job. I really was impressed with the formula. I cannot wait to get more use out of this because honestly... I just feel like they nailed it. I'm really excited to be able to get these, and it's only because of you guys that even watch this channel and check out my Instagram that th that this is possible. So thank you guys so much for your support and even following me. Just so you know, in case you have missed it, I do have a giveaway going on right now, and it is going through October 31st. It will go until 8 p.m. when I will do a drawing live. If you guys are interested in that, check out the tab on my Instagram, which I will have linked down below, and it will say giveaway for more instructions, because I would love to send you a package. With that being said, I really hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure you leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.